In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the camshaft position sensor on your Chevy Silverado. This will be located on the front of the motor. Let's get started. We're going to remove the intake. There should be band clamps on either side. We're going to use a flat blade screwdriver. Loosen the clamp. Remove the PCV hoses off of the intake. Remove the MAF sensor, pull back on the red tab, push on the black, pull straight back. Your intake might not look like this one, but it should have all of the same parts. Once everything is loose and removed, go ahead and remove the intake. Using a half inch chuck, we're going to get inside of the tensioner, pull the tension off, remove the belt from the pulleys. Remove the belt. To get access to the camshaft position sensor, we're going to remove the automatic tensioner using a 15 millimeter wrench to remove the bolt for the tensioner. Remove the bolt and the tensioner. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt for the camshaft position sensor guard. Remove the bolt. The second bolt for our bracket is gonna be located behind the vacuum pump pulley. We're going to use a quarter inch ratchet with an extension with a 10 millimeter socket and we're going to remove that bottom bolt for the bracket. Loosen the bottom bolt until there's just a few threads left but leave it in. Pull the camshaft bracket forward. Open that white safety lock for the connector. You can usually push it with your finger. Ours has a good amount of debris in it, so we used a pick. Push on the white tab, pull that connector back, and remove it from the sensor. Using a small pry bar or flat blade screwdriver, gently pry on one side as you pull on the other with your finger until you can remove the cam position sensor. Be very careful with the sensor. You do not want to break it off inside of the engine. Install the camshaft position sensor. Get it lined up and fully seated. Install the connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. Then close that white tab. I'm gonna use a punch to help line up all of the holes. Torque the top bolt to 10 foot-pounds. <whistles> Snug down the bottom bolt. This is a very tight space. Take your time. Torque the bolt to 10 foot-pounds. Install the tensioner. Get the bolt started. Snug the bolt down. Torque the tensioner bolt to 43 foot-pounds. Install the belt. Pull the tension off of the tensioner and install the belt around the alternator pulley. Let go of the tension on the tensioner and remove your half inch. 
Make sure the belt is riding on all of the pulleys, on all of the grooves, and then on all of the flats. Install the intake. Snug down the clamps. Install the PCV hose. Install the MAF sensor connector. Push until you hear a click. If you don't, give it a pull. Make sure it's locked on. Close that red tab. Snug down the clamp on the other side. And you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.